In this video, I will be talking about Avalon and RDKit fingerprints. For this, I am using Google Collab. If you have Google account, you can use it for free. So the first step is installing RDKit and importing various libraries such as Pandas and NumPy. Along with that, I am going to be importing important modules from RDKit library. So let's just go ahead and do that. Next, I will be importing an Excel file containing some nitrogen containing compound. So let's just go ahead and see the output. Now, this is the data frame that I'm using here. It contains names of the molecules and smile strings. So as you can see here, all of these are mostly nitrogen containing compounds. Now for generating molecular fingerprints, you need to convert these smile strings into molecular objects, which I can do here with this command pandas tool dot add molecule column to frame. Here it will grab smiles from this data frame and concatenate the mole column to this, this data frame which would contain our molecular objects. Let's have a look at the output. So as you can see here, these uh, this data frame now has another column called mole which contains these molecular objects. Next, we'll try to generate Avalon fingerprints using RDKit. The Avalon fingerprint is like a unique signature for a molecule that highlights the local structure features around each atom. It provides a way to compare molecules based on the arrangement of their atom-centered substructures. So for generating Avalon fingerprint, I'm creating an empty list here and I will iterate through each molecule using this by Avalon tools dot get Avalon FP, which would take the molecular structures, which we have just generated as input along with the number of bits. So these are hyperparameters. You can change the length of bits depending upon the problem or molecule. Right now I'm using 4096 bits. So it will give me an output uh, with the length of bits equal to 4096. Uh, this would give us the output in the form of bit vectors. And next we will convert it into numpy arrays using this code and finally we would append it to an empty list that we have just generated. Now next we will convert this list into a data frame and concatenate it to our original data frame so that we have the Avalon fingerprint corresponding to each molecule. So let's just go ahead and run this and see the output. So our final data frame with the Avalon fingerprint contains names, smiles, molecular objects and fingerprint with length equal to our input which was 4096. You can change it to 512 if you want and it will reduce the number of columns to 512. Now you can import this data frame as an Excel or CSV file. So Excel and CSV files will appear here which you can download and use it for your data manipulation. Next I'll be talking about RDKit fingerprint. This fingerprint creates a unique identifier for different parts of the molecule incorporating information about atom and bond types. It then uses random numbers to set bits in the fingerprint providing a compact representation of the molecule's substructures. The code for this is pretty similar. Again, I'm generating an empty list here, followed by using this RDKit fingerprint generator, which would give me bit vectors. And then we will convert this bit vector into NumPy arrays, followed by concatenating it to our data frame. Like Avalon fingerprint, we have the flexibility of choosing the fingerprint size here I've used 4096, but feel free to use other fingerprint size as per your need. Now again, in the end, you can just download this data set in the form of Excel or CSV file. And these files will appear here after generation. That's it for now. In the next video, I'll be talking about atom pair fingerprint and topological torsion fingerprint the code for this video has been provided in the description below. Thank you for watching.